Hello everybody, this is Jean. Uh, today I'm doing our journal prompts, week 23 I think it is, which is Bloom. I'm starting with a piece of um, watercolour paper, smooth watercolour paper, and some acrylic paint in baby blue. And I'm just going to water down the paint and put a very, very pale wash uh, to represent the sky. don't really want much colour at all. But I just want a representation, something that looks like the sky. And I'm just going to use a baby wipe to take out a few clouds. Everything else I'm going to do is stamping and um, I'm just going to show you uh, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to use and then I'm just going to put some music on and you can watch the page bloom. I've got loads and loads of these wooden embellishments. I can't resist them, they cost me £2 in the works and you get loads. And I've got flowers and I've got butterflies and I've got all sorts of things as you can see. Um, and I did find a, a use for them in, in doing um, that heart last week um, that I gessoed over. And this week I suddenly thought of another use for them. I had an idea that I wanted to use lots of stamps. And I haven't got a lot of flower stamps. Well, not very big ones anyway. Um, and then I thought, why not use these as stamps? So these are the wooden embellishments. I've, I've put two on. I don't know if you can see that. There's two on there on a piece of stiff card and a little bit of um, masking tape on the back so you can grip them and stamp with them. I think this might have come from Amy at Al John. Um, yeah, and so I've made a few of those and I'm going to use those for the larger flowers on my page and then I've got lots of ordinary stamps to use for the smaller ones. Right, on my first attempt at this I did do a green wash at the bottom uh, to represent grass obviously, um, but the colours reacted badly with the green. They didn't come out nearly as vibrant as they did on the plain white paper. So I'm going to just stamp a few leaves using this small acrylic stamp in green and, um, and then go ahead with the flowers. And uh, that's the last you'll hear from me now until the end.
And I don't have a, um, a die cutting machine, a proper die cutting machine, but I do have this little diamond press crafter's companion little one. Um, and I, I don't really use dies very much, but I do have a set of alphabet dies, and so I've cut the, uh, the letters for Bloom in black using that. I've added um, an orange butterfly and a little bit more greenery, and I've tried to fill in all the space that I can. It needs a border, and I'm going to put the word Bloom. Um, I've tried it down here and I didn't like it so it's going up there in the sky and then it'll be done. I've thought about doodling on the flowers but really I think there's so much going on I don't think I need any doodling. So, sticking the word on with tacky glue. Just a few dots around the outside and then we'll be done. And I, I remember I was no good at art at school. I gave it up after a year. And the only piece of work I did that was ever hung on the wall was a piece like this, larger than this, and something obviously where I'd drawn the flowers myself. Um, but it was flowers in very bright colours, just like this. And that was over 50 years ago. And life goes full circle if you wait long enough. Of blue. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.